Cougar Tracks Extra starts now. Powered by Perry Holmes. Hey guys, welcome into Cougar Tracks Extra. Alex Curie, Dave Noriega, and uh, of course our weekly predictions right now. BYU versus Cincinnati. Uh, we like to start things off with a yes or no question. We like to have kind of a tougher statistical question, Dave, and then we do our scores. It's been 16 days since we've celebrated a BYU football game, so we might be rusty on our predictions, but... Because that, we've been nailing them all year long. <laughs> but that might be a good thing, I was going to say. Uh, just Change to kinda, the tide. We needed to get fresh on our prediction game, too. Yeah, so, right. uh, Dave, I wanted to start off on your yes or no. Uh, Coach Ty Detmer was asked about it this week. Fans want to know about it. It's the awkward question. Is Tanner Mangum going to get some significant uh, snaps the rest of the season? Uh, and my question for you was, will he get 10-plus snaps Ooh. In today's game, now that would you're mean, not even saying throws. You're just saying flat out snaps. Ten plus snaps for Tanner Mangum. Now that means they'd have to be winning the game, probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna split, hedge my bets here. Okay. I'm gonna say no, but when you see my score prediction, you're gonna be like, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. So my fifty fifty for you is yes. Taysom has not has only thrown one interception in the past four mm. games. So does he have? At least one interception in Ooh. today's game. One or more. Uh, they have such such fast defenders for Cincinnati. And BYU is a turnover team machine, right? They're, t- they're a top three team when it comes to turnovers uh, in the country with 21 turnovers that they've forced. Cincinnati, they've forced 19 this year. They're a top, they're five, a top team five team right. on turnover. So I'm going to say they're going to get a pick from uh, Taysom today. Now that that does have that means Taysom actually has to throw the ball into some semblance of coverage, which he has not done in the last few weeks. This guy, he's like wide open, boom. This guy, any coverage within six miles, mm, I'm going to run. All Take right, it. all right. Uh, your question on the on the side, of, or my question for you on the uh, number side of things. Cincinnati is one of the worst rush defenses in the country. Yeah. Uh, and worst rushing teams in the country. BYU is one of the best rushing defense teams in the country and best running teams in the country as well. How many yards are the Bearcats going to have on the ground against this uh, BYU defense that has some uh, issues, obviously, with some injuries in the middle? Uh, I think BYU holds them to uh, 125 yards rushing. That's like almost that's like almost double their their like season average, bro. You're going to say they're going to slice and dice that defense like that? All right, fine. Well, BYU is missing a ton of interior linemen. Lost yeah. uh, Tui Loma, t- Tui Loma Tauyoluli, and... Uh, Tomasi Lalile. Lalile. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, if you're going to attack BYU, I think it is going to have to be right up the gut and, and hope that something happens. Because this is why. They can't throw the ball. Which is my question to you. Okay. Uh, Cincinnati only completed one pass in the second half of that loss to Temple. Only had 12 total offensive plays in the second <laughs> it half. It was not good. He was one. Gunner Kill was one for six. Uh, how many completion slash passing yards were, will Gunner Keel have? Uh, I'm going to say he has 23 completions. Wow. And I'm going to say he has 265 yards. All right. I guess I won that one. <laughs> well, look, this is not exactly a BYU defense. It's <laughs> locked it down on the passing side of things. So, Okay. Uh, score predictions. Who do you have uh, winning the game? Because you seem to be always choosing whoever's playing BYU. Oh, so uh, I've only chosen uh, twice the other team to win, and both times was I right. But. Uh, I'm going to go with BYU today beating Cincinnati. They're freshened up. They've got Jamal back, and I'm going to say they're going to win this thing. I'm going to say 31 to 10. I think that the offense is really, really going to buckle things down. Gunnar Keel getting that production doesn't mean he's scoring points. Yeah, you know, and and that's mine. Mine falls a little more in a shootout category because I think when you come off a a bye sometimes – uh, you're a little sloppy early on, so I think BYU will give up some points early on, but end up uh, rolling Cincinnati 42-28. Wow! Though I, I should always know to follow you on your scores because your your nails when okay. it comes to scores. Okay. And you also called that exact same score for BYU versus uh, Boise State. Someone's gonna hit that score. Okay. All right. Those are our predictions for the week. That's Cougar Tracks Extra. Check us after the game with Cougar Tracks Game Day to see if we were so bad that we actually want to quit predicting. Cougar Tracks Extra is powered by Perry Homes. Discover why Utah families are coming home to Perry Homes.